Callum Robinson earns West Brom a battling point at Bournemouth. Perhaps it was inevitable after 18 months of largely empty stadia that supporters would return in their droves for a humdinger. West Bromwich Albion twice levelled at Bournemouth as a seesawing and sometimes wild championship curtain raiser was played out in front of a sellout crowd. Dara O'Shea and Callum Robinson equalised after goals by the debutant Emiliano Markins and Philip Billing. 67 days on from the League Two playoff final, the Football League is firmly back up and running. Both teams have big aspirations this season and both appointed highly regarded managers in the summer to try to earn a ticket back to the Premier League. Scott Parker, in a grey blazer and tie, was given a warm ovation when introduced to a sellout crowd before kickoff and along the touchline the strapping frame of Valerian Ismail was soon visibly shaping his team into his style, wincing when Grady Diangana was dispossessed by Adam Smith. One of the ploys was evidently to make life difficult for the Bournemouth goalkeeper Mark Travers, who spent last season on loan at Swindon. West Brom forced an early corner through Diangana inside 25 seconds and shaded the first half, finishing on top after O'Shea's headed equaliser. Perhaps it was inevitable Albion's first goal under Ismail would stem from a set piece, only Cardiff scored more goals from set pieces last season, and the defender climbed higher than Jordan Zumura, one of three Bournemouth Academy graduates making their debuts and 11 in the squad, to not in Conor Townsend's looping cross after recycling a long throw. Moments later Albion were penalised for crowding out Travers before Callum Robinson poked in on the goal line, and on the brink of the interval Kyle Bartley headed over after a period of head tennis. Travers also saved smartly to prevent a Robinson strike nestling in a corner. Bournemouth opened the scoring when Jaden Anthony, another academy youngster, played a smart give-and-go with Billing, and the former cut the ball back towards the penalty spot, where Markins applied a neat finish. That strike gave Bournemouth liftoff, and Dominic Solanke streamed forward almost immediately after the restart, but failed to pick out the unmarked Markins to his right. Gavin Kilkenny was arguably the pick of the debutants, however, the Irishman excellent at the base of midfield. The game was entertaining, but bitty in places. Carlin Grant, who sent a header straight at Travers seconds before Bournemouth's opener, almost inadvertently wiped out Parker on the touchline after being given a barge by Chris Mepham, who got a booking for his efforts. There was also evidence of both teams trying to implement their manager's styles. Ismail asked Albion to press high and prove awkward opponents, while at times Parker's side played with a welcome pizzes and a slick break allowed them to regain the lead. Lloyd Kelly freed Anthony down the left flank, and he picked out the overlapping Zamora, whose cross the goalkeeper David Button could only parry to Billing who calmly pocketed the ball into the corner. Robinson volleyed narrowly wide when Bournemouth failed to clear, and it was no surprise when they leveled again. Albion seized possession from David Brooks and Alex Mowat, Ismail's captain at Barnsley, powered forward before picking out the substitute Matt Phillips. He returned the ball to Mowat and Robinson met a teasing cross with a fine first-time finish. Brooks almost found a winner after magical footwork by Solanke and Grant went close.